Why does your doctor ignore your hypothalamus? Let's talk about it. In the past three decades, as an intuitive integrative nurse practitioner, I've helped thousands of people achieve optimal health physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I focus on hormones because frankly, it's your hormones that control everything. Your mood, your memory, your motivation, your energy levels, your sleep cycles, your sex drive. Your hormones control how you respond to stress, to other people, to the world around you. And if your hormones are out of balance, not only is your health affected, but your entire life is affected. What I do differently is that I focus on the true master controller of all your hormones, your hypothalamus. Perhaps you haven't heard of your hypothalamus. Well, that's because even in medicine, doctors tend to ignore it. Why? Because first, it's impossible to measure the hormones of the hypothalamus to check its function. And second, conventional medicine does not believe anything can be done medically to help your hypothalamus do a better job at controlling your hormones, your neurotransmitters, and your immunity. In fact, your entire biochemical communication network. Yet, there are ways to look at the blood work and symptoms to determine hypothalamic dysfunction. And there are natural ways to help your hypothalamus heal. Supporting your hypothalamus is really getting to the root of many of your health issues. Focusing on hypothalamic dysfunction is considered upstream medicine. Upstream medicine means we're looking higher up the channels to see what's really going on, what's causing the symptoms and the signs we're seeing in our patients. Most of the time when you see a healthcare provider, they're practicing downstream medicine, dealing with the symptoms that they're seeing right in the moment, prescribing medications and recommending supplements to treat those symptoms, but they don't address the root of the issue. When I see somebody with a thyroid disorder, I don't just give them thyroid hormones without looking at a potential hypothalamic imbalance. And if I just give them thyroid hormones, they'll be on thyroid hormones for the rest of their life. I'll never encourage them to actually create their own thyroid hormone if I don't support their hypothalamus. Now, if I see someone with an adrenal dysfunction, I need to look at the hypothalamus as being a potential root of the issue. If your adrenals are out of balance, it's usually because your hypothalamus has been over-triggering your adrenals for so long that the HPA axis or hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis is really disturbed. Studies show that people with severe adrenal deficiency have changes in their hypothalamus. If I see somebody with a mood disorder, depression, bipolar disease, anxiety, panic attacks, I assess how their hypothalamus is contributing to their situation. Research has shown that people with long-term depression and bipolar condition have a 5% decrease in the size of their hypothalamus. To be optimally healthy, you need to appreciate that your hypothalamus controls so many vital aspects of your body especially if you have a chronic illness, hormonal imbalances, immune or metabolic disorders, your hypothalamus is probably part of the picture. If you're not supporting your hypothalamus, you'll need to use more medications, more hormone replacement therapy, and excessive supplementation. Supporting your hypothalamus allows effective communication between your hypothalamus, pituitary, and the lower endocrine glands, as well as the rest of your vital systems. Vital systems like your immune system, your central nervous system, your detoxification pathways, your digestion and absorption of nutrients to heal and get back into balance. One of the reasons that I started focusing on hypothalamic support was because I had so many patients come to me with a myriad of issues like low thyroid, adrenal fatigue, and autoimmune disease. Some were women going through menopause or men going through andropause or young women with period problems or fertility issues. Many had gastrointestinal issues with malabsorption. Many suffered from sleep disorders, depression, and anxiety. All of the natural therapies I was giving them, including bioidentical hormone therapy, as well as supplementation to deal with all of their problems, was frankly way more than I could personally take myself. Plus, the amount of times that I would have these patients return to my care to adjust their supplements or their hormonal regimen was creating a dependency on me as a practitioner. Now, if you have any questions whatsoever about supporting your hypothalamus, please join us in our free hormone reboot training where I teach you everything you need to know about your hypothalamus and you'll get access to our hormone support group where I answer your questions live. You can help your hypothalamus and you don't need a prescription.
The best way to support your hypothalamus is taking Genesis Gold. One daily dose of this delicious green drink provides all the nutrients, amino acids, herbal extracts, whole plant foods, and sea vegetation your hypothalamus needs to get back into balance. Your hypothalamus is the master controller of all your vital systems, and with the proper support, it can get back into balance and function optimally, which will allow you to be able to decrease the amount of hormone supplementation you're taking, the amount of dietary supplementation you're taking, and even the amount of medications that you need to control your symptoms. I really believe that your body can heal if given the right ingredients. Healing starts with supporting your hypothalamus. I'll see you in the next video.